Hello, this is Jeff Foster with Web Biz Ideas. Today I'll walk you through how to improve search engine traffic. Search engines consider hundreds of different factors in a complex algorithm to determine which sites will rank where on the search engine results page. But the two most important factors are content and links. In order for a search engine to deliver value to its customers, i.e. searchers, it needs to provide the best and the most useful results. The complex algorithm they use to get these results is important, but secondary. The three critical strategies that you need to focus on to increase your site's search engine traffic are creating and publishing relevant content, two, influencing aggregators and distributors, three, increasing link value. We will focus on all three. First, I am going to define what I mean by relevant content. Second, I am going to give you 10 different ways you can produce this content. And then finally, I'm going to explain why producing this content will improve your search engine rankings. Remember, the goal of every search engine is to help users find useful, relevant, and valuable information that they are looking for. So the first objective to increasing your site's search engine rankings is to build relevant content. But what exactly defines relevant content? Let's take a look at two of the most popular ways. Number one, blogs. Blog posts are relevant content. Daily or weekly writing blog posts that relate to your industry is a great way to produce useful information. When you link back to your main website using the appropriate anchor text, you will be improving search engine rankings. When other people link to your blog posts and you have set up the proper anchor text, you will be increasing your search engine rankings. Number two, videos or vlogs. Videos or video blog posts are another great way to publish information that users are looking for. In fact, publishing a video on YouTube with your keywords in the video title can be a faster way to reach the first page of Google than optimizing a normal web page. Again, when you post a video on your blog, make sure you link back to a service page on your main website to increase that specific page's link value. Let's look at two more. Number three, podcasts. How easy is it to read and record the blog post you just created? Or how easy is it to convert the text into audio? Some may find podcasts are a more effective way to distribute information online. Just like a daily or weekly blog post, publishing daily or weekly podcasts can provide users with relevant content. If users like what you are talking about, they may link to your website, which will increase your link value, which in turn will increase your search engine rankings. Number four, webinars. How easy is it to create a PowerPoint presentation or a PDF document? Both can be an extremely effective media platform to use in an online webinar. An online webinar is really just another word for an online meeting. If your company already has an email database you use to send out newsletters, why not create a PowerPoint presentation on a subject that will benefit your readers and schedule an online webinar using a service like GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar to reach your audience? If you label the title of your talk correctly, um, or in other words, include keywords you are targeting in the search engines in that title, you will find that people who are interested in your webinar may link to your registration page using that title, which in turn will increase your search engine rankings. Let's look at two more. Number five, press releases. A great way to promote an online webinar or anything newsworthy is an online press release. The secret to a successful press release is once it is published, you need to promote the published release. So just like you would build links to your company website, build links to the published press release. The most important part of a press release is choosing a correct title. Not only do most people use the title when linking to a press release, but a good title will get more people reading your press release. Number six, events. Same concept here. Let's say you are a landscaper and you are want to increase your brand awareness and attempts to bring in more projects. Why not hold a monthly event that educates the public on practical landscaping advice for homeowners? You may not want to teach the public how to do it themselves, but possibly on upkeep of patios, driveways, and lawns, and you may want to label it landscaping advice for Minneapolis homeowners. Uh, and if you do this, what you'll find is you'll improve your local, local search engine rankings when people link to that event using that same title. Uh, you may notice a trend here in, in all this content. 
uh, all of the relevant content we have created has two rules. Number one, the content needs to be relevant to the products or services a company is offering. And number two, uh, a good title is extremely important. Let's quickly examine two more, online directories. Have you ever found what you're looking for in an online directory? Or have you ever found an extremely old web page that is number one for an extremely competitive keyword and all it is is a, a web page with a bunch of links on it? You know, if you throw out the word link page or link exchanges and truly create a directory that provides real valuable information to a visitor, you will be helping people find what they're looking for. And if you do that, not only will you help your company's reputation, but you will also naturally build high quality links to your website. Number eight, case studies. Customers like learning about a company before contracting to them. Case studies are a great way to educate potential customers on processes, ethics, and past work that your company has done. And not only that, many people link to case studies. So that is another great way to build links and in turn, improve your search engine rankings. Let's look at our final two. Number nine, tutorials. Not only do tutorials and case studies decrease customer service time, but they also provide a great way to publish new content. Instead of answering the same questions over and over again by email or phone, why not publish new questions and answers online? Search engines love new content. People like linking to FAQ pages. Do you notice an underlining trend here? Building information that actually is useful to search engine users will help you naturally build the needed links to increase your search engine rankings. Let's look at the final one, white papers. It is easy to convert an article into a white paper or PDF document, although you need to watch out for duplicate content, allowing users to download reports or guide can be an extremely uh, relevant source of information. Not only do search engines index PDF documents and people like linking to them, but requiring a user to enter in their name and email and phone number before allowing them to download it can be an extremely easy way to build leads. Overall, website owners who excel in increasing search engine rankings create and publish lots of relevant content in many different areas online. They research what people are searching for and produce relevant content in those areas. They do this because search engines are hungry for quality content. They do this to create a reason for their company to be noticed. They do this to create a reason for others to link to them. They also do this not just to rank number one for a keyword phrase, but they also do this to push out their competitors and rank number one, number two, number three, number four, number five, and so forth for very popular keywords. All right, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to use this content to influence influential people on companies.